Poetry Fellowship uh, in 1980 and again in 1985. Uh, the four and, and four California Arts Council Artists Awards. He has also received short story and poetry prizes from the University of California at Irvine and the University of Texas at El Paso uh, and from the Iowa Journal of Literary Studies. He, is, he was the Breadwell Fellow in 1990. In, in the United States, his poetry has appeared in journals such as the American Poetry Review, Maya's, the Boston Review, Tonan to Zen, Zai Zaiba, and Quarterly West, El Toclito, I can't pronounce it, <laughs> Tokalati, Literary. Okay, here we go. And he's published in a lot of places, but I can't. Um, the, uh, let me just say that his work has been published uh, in many Latin American journals. That he holds an MFA in poetry from the, from the Iowa Writers Workshop. Theater works include founding of El Titro Tolga, a multimedia troupe in Los Angeles and in the early 70s, as well as founding Trokia, a performance <coughs> percussion ensemble in the late 80s. Recent performances works include Dream Boxer, City Lights Theater, San Jose, California, Free and Living, or Free to Living, Find the Dead, on the 1989 Bay Area Earthquake, Iowa Playwrights Workshop, and Prison Journal, Iowa Playwrights Workshop. Recently, he teaches, or presently, he teaches at Cal State in Fresno in the Chicano and Latin American Department and resides in Fresno, California with his wife, the poet Margarita Luna Robles. Uh, and, I'm, and she, uh, has engaged in making and producing performance artwork for over a decade in California and abroad. In the Bay Area, she produced various sets such as Dream Boxer, Favors in Your Flavors in Your Mouth, Laughing Up the Street, Funky Household, and El Sir Ella. Her written text, short stories, and poems have appeared in various journals such as Hate Ashbury Journal. Ella Tokalati, Literario, Poetry, <coughs> San Francisco, Best Chicano Writing, Arizona State University, and the U.S. Mexico Conference Journal, Instituto Nacional El Bayes Artis. She has also received a short story prize from the University of California at Irvine, Margarita Luna's video works, The Game, and Dancing have been featured by the multimedia studios at the University of Iowa under the direction of Hans Breeder. She, is, she has served as an editorial assistant for the Ohio Review, as well as given writing and poetic workshops at the University of Iowa, Cal State University of Fresno, Stanford University. Presently, she is working on a novel, Unidentifiable Markings. Currently, she is living in Fresno with her husband, Wong. <laughs> And their children, Robert and Marlene Renee. They're busy people. And we're so glad to have them. And I can't wait. It's been about four years since I've seen them. And I want to see them again. You got it, Bob. <laughs> Tonight, I would like to convert this setting into a temple. And what I would like to do is ask all of you to maybe clear your mind and leave the day behind, leave the worries behind, 
leave all the bad karma somewhere else and let's get into some good thinking, some positive thinking, because part of tonight's ceremony will involve bringing in and calling the spirits in celebration of Dia de los Muertos.
been doing. gather in a flourishing way with sun loose grains abriendo los cantos que cargamos cada día en el young pasto nuestro cuerpo para regalar y dar feliz perlas, pearls, corn flowing árboles de vida en las cuatro esquinas let us gather in a flourishing way Contentos, llenos de fuerza, tu vida. Give me nacimientos to fragrant ríos, dulces, frescos, verdes, turquoise, strong carne de nuestros hijos, hijas, rainbows. Let us gather in a flourishing way, en la luz. Y en la carne of our heart to toil, tranquilos in fields of blossoms, juntos to stretch los brazos, temprana estrella on our forehead, cielo de calor, cielo de calor and wisdom to meet us where we toil siempre in the garden of our hearts, a saludar our águila rising freedom, a celebrar woven brazos, branches, ramas, piedras, nopales, plumas, piercing, bursting, figs y aguacates, ripe mariposa fields, and mares claros of our face, to breathe, todos, en el camino, todos, blessing the seeds to give, to grow, my son, en las manos de nuestro amor, let us gather, flourishing way, with sun loose grains, abriendo los cantos, rebosos, of love we have woven, sudor de pueblos on our back, on our back, sudor de pueblos, we have woven, rebosos, of love, a celebrar, temprana, juntos, en la luz, carne de nuestras hijas, giving, contentos, corn flowing, árboles, pearls, nuestro cuerpo, cada día, to meet us and joy, our águila rising, woven, brazos, piercing, piedras, campanas, en la luz, let us gather, rebosos, of love, y a todo, los dos de pueblos,
Gracias. Thank you very much. And thank you very much, Chuck, for a great intro. And it's good to see you again, too. And so many friends and familia. And uh, buena gente from, from many places. And I'm glad to meet you and to see you again. And the Artes Americas and everyone that's part of it and that came here tonight with your feelings and with your eyes and with friends. Muchas gracias. You know, I'm from Fowler. And uh, I guess I'm coming back after being in Fowler for just a few weeks when I was born. And traveling throughout California with my parents, uh, working the fields, and maybe finally landing in San Diego. And then something happened. Something happened around 1960. I'll leave a blank there for you to fill in. And it affected all of us. And as a Chicano, it affected me in a very special way. I'm coming back to the fiery humor of Mexican towns. I've been dragging a topaz colored branch my mother gave me, flickering since the early years. I've been dragging these curly papers filling with light at noon, the Navy yards from the west and the smoke looms up. This soil and green steel where you lose flesh in one swing, one handsome swing from the young jackhammer. This was Woody Herrera's death in 64. What could they do with a stump figure and his peach checkered leg? Where did they bury his son's curses? Where did he walk? I went through the tiny veins to the cobblestone back to El Colorín, 80 miles east of the Pacific and central Mexico. I was asking for salt. At times, I was even more simple and received a sharp sweetness, the kind you get from a Mexican line. And if you're lucky, from your own eyes as you gaze across the streets, full of ring vendors, Indians, and fancy melting cars. I went inside. I wanted to touch the belly under the waters, darkness opening up, a black fan with amethyst sparkles where the face was. I even slept in a shredded hammock. The wet insects dropped from the ceiling to click their jaws, go up again, scale the ruins. There was a Ferris wheel with a Spanish girl wearing a pearl necklace, the background roses and chrome. There was a spattered bus leaving me in the town plaza of Guatemala City. I had to fight for a ticket south. I wanted to go deeper. The Indians crowded to see me looking down at the ground. Their feet were swollen, but they carried a shawashte, a walking stick, blackish and stone-like, finished like a clarinet clarinet of resentments. 
and El Salvador, that's how far I got with you. I lived in a finca with a robust zookeeper, a plantation man who dressed in fatigues. I never knew his name. We drank wine once. Once at dinner we sang, Adios muchachos, compañeros de la vida. Everyone in Latin America knows this song. Then I climbed up the volcano, the hills, and met the workers in their fenced-in, tilted vegetables and their love for oranges right after their pit, sitting cross-legged, maybe, warming tortillas on the embers. They are the ones I love the most. They are the ones tied down to a boot, whose shadowy strings follow me. I had written six pages about this. I wanted a memorable figure of phosphor eye behind the caves. I kept on going through my oversized clothes. My color was somewhere between a burgundy and a brown. Passions consumed me. I think something between a burgundy and a brown. My cheeks were hollow, my hair oily, longish to the mid-back. I wore muslin and guaraches, the type the tourists buy not meant for wearing because they're pointed. I was a clown of sorts. I strayed at times. I joined others. A Chicano from East LA with green eyes, a kind cameraman who kept on. And now he lives in Brazil. There were others, tall women and some men with notebooks, sketch pads. They were writing too. They talked about their grandmothers who they never met. They talked about El Paso and the Juarez border. They mentioned shame. They mentioned water. These were the tillers and scrubbers, they said. These were the prayers for the little ghost in the grasses, for the two-headed calf, for the feeble kid frozen with a tiny leg for the braids inside a plastic back from the pharmacy, for the daughter walking ahead past the terrible gates, for the husband made to drink gasoline by the patrol, for the American officer with one eye. We camped under an old tarp and ate sweet dough baked over a wire. It tasted like licorice and rice. We shuffled backstage, put on pebbled masks. We called it the theater of freedom and used other words too, like teatro, rasquachi, and carpas. For years, we performed in tobacco collectives in northern Veracruz and back in Hollenbeck Park, in East LA, where my buddy was from, even in Chino Prison on the West Coast too. The inmates asked us to take cartoons and letters back to their wives. One time, we went to Granger, Washington, up north. I had never seen the snow so powdery with lights. I grew up in Southern California. Who's to say what I'll see next? I told them. My words were spontaneous. I used words like rebozo, lotus. My favorite animals were the eagle and the deer. The others used words like bronze and nation and phrases like, viva la mujer. There was something in all this, free from bitterness, twittering in the shape of a harp behind us. This was 1968. This was 1974. No one cringed then. No one whispered then. We walked out of our houses and crossed the street as if underwater. You couldn't see our eyes or even the way our hands were shifting. The language was unknown. You could feel the heat waves though. Maybe something traveling brushes, fragrance. This was 1979. Maybe some are still going. I heard Carlitos Robles took his children to Italy. Parma, they said. And Dolores Valencia made it to Berlin. Every day from the bitten walls, she makes sure she takes the old signs down, she says. And she puts something up from the backpack. A soda cup, maybe. Maybe with pieces of pumpernickel for the birds, a funny little meal under the sky. I am picking a small meadow ahead, two bushels of bright reddish leaves in a basket, a Greyhound Depot on the other side, forlorn with a foolish clock. It is late spring. 
I can tell it's a Mexican town. All morning I've been hearing laughter, women singing, a sparrow working through the leaves. I'm walking more with my left than my right, like my father. There is much work to be done, he would say. So many ruins to sweep, so much blue dust to settle.
synchronize the time on my watch and your clock. But I'm not on time, and your timing is off. You don't have the time, and I won't make the time. Better luck next time. Within your time frame, take time to make time. It's your time. Time waits for no one, but some time stops for everyone. October 26, 1990. Dear Anita, I woke up this morning thinking of you and our conversations of death. It's funny, although ironic is a better word, that you should see me as experienced on the issues of death. You, the therapist, the touchy, feeling one, and me, the poet, the one with <coughs> words. Let's combine our personas and see what we can conjure. As I was saying, I woke up this morning and the first order of business was to take a walk. It was six o'clock. I'm always <coughs> amazed at the color of the sky at any point, but more so in the early morning. As a kid, I used to go outside in the spring and walk on the dewy grass, kind of like crispy lettuce. And I learned what the color green smelled like. Just like somewhere along the way, I developed a notion an idea of what a spirit must look like. People's spirits after they die must shine in a way that sunrise light slowly filters into the darkness, slowly making it gray. Then tinges of pink start to happen. Like great Italian Renaissance paintings, the light shines through. But in Fresno, the heaviness in the sun rays frightens me. You're the Fresno girl, so I know you know I'm not exaggerating when I say the pink around the sun looked a little bluey. <coughs> I thought about air. I was having a hard time breathing, trying to contain all my emotions. I wanted freshness and moistness to cleanse, to soothe, to maybe take away the pain of death. I couldn't see the spirits around me, of course, this has nothing to do with air quality, but more so with the freshness around the heart. Death. It doesn't matter how it happens, how we arrive at it. Cancer, car crash, murder, suicide. It doesn't matter. All it takes is a split moment, kind of like closing your eyes and it's over. I can never get over the awe of the timing, kind of like now you see me, now you don't. Language doesn't seem to exist around death, except stupid cliches, passed away, gone forever, I will never see him again, time moves on, life goes on, dead. What do you think? I'm sorry your dear friend Jay-Z died. It always seems a little deeper when a woman dies. I mean, for us women, when one of us dies, it cuts a little deeper. Someone who really knew us, someone who really knew how to love the way that only women can love. What does death mean? You told me Jay-Z's death meant she was gone. Jay-Z, no longer here to take up space, big space, or to sing, I am what I am and that's all that I am. A silence, a missing voice, no one to take care of. Human being who taught how to love oneself, gone. Someone who saved me from myself, forever gone. You know, when we women hold each other and nurture each other, it smells different and it feels different than with men. Can't put my finger on it, but let's keep that on our things to ponder and talk about. When you walk the beach in Capitola, breathe the air and think of me. This will be our spiritual bond. You and I need the mist to heal. And of course, I'm always looking for the spirits. I am enclosing sections from my journals and poems on love and death in my life. 
Love must be a big element in all this. Otherwise, we lose, we lose touch with the goodness in the universe. Please, do with this what you must, as this is not gospel or wisdom. Just sprinkles and sparkles, fragments of my life in the eye of death. I love you. Siempre, Margarita. about the video. It's something that uh, I've been wanting to show you for, for 20 years, to show people for 20 years. And it's a journey that I took to Mexico back in 1970. And it was part of my own attempt to find out who I was and who I am. And uh, I think a lot of us were doing that and we continue to do that. So these are uh, the La Candor Mayas. Uh, what you see there no longer really exists. It's been overrun by tractors and timber people and uh, uh, people that want dolomite, mineral, and uh, chicle from the rubber trees. And then again, the people that don't have any place to go, that uh, colonize uh, inadvertently the land. Uh, in southern uh, Mexico and Chiapas, right next to Guatemala. At that time, in uh, 1970, there were 150 Lacandon Mayas, the people you're looking at. It was 1990. You're the first people to see it. I've shown exhibits of the photographs. It's the first time I put the video. Te escribo sobre esta mesa de mares, un párrafo entre las tablas de arena, un peregrinaje de ojos del abismo hacia la voz. Acá afuera, cuando alguien grita, las ramas se mojan de labios gris y velos. Las palabras abandonan las vigas de hombros y vientres como gaviotas con susto. Vientres de trueno preso, la sala esclava, es viernes, Quentino. Tus 18 años en la celda palpitan como puños niños. Aquí también hay una tuberculosis de hierro. La risa de la araña. Puñales que nacen de los pezones de los administradores, las secretarias desnudas, en una taquigrafía de eslabones. Es viernes, cuando los viejos se mecen en sillones oscuros y de vez en cuando miran sus manos que tiemblan, las quijadas del pasto que gruñen, y luego... Se acuerdan de tus cejas y tus puños guitarras que tocaban sol y luna cuando solo pedíamos tierra. Estamos en noviembre, un rumbo entre el primero y el treinta quentino, un pétalo infinito entre dos candados imaginarios quentino, y la bandera de yodo en la recámara de militares y perfume en tus manos, y la armazón de un M16 entre la frente de Somoza. Explotaron en la calle 45 años de humo y sangre. ¿Y qué es lo que cambia, Quentino? Ayer murió tu padre debajo del incierto maquillaje de hospitales. Hoy camino las calles, busco los ojos y los busco. Cuando hay más luz los busco. Pero la gente se acostumbra a las rejas eternas entre los ojos y el verano. I'm writing you on this ocean table, a paragraph between the sand tablets, a pilgrimage of eyes from the chasm to the voice here outside. When someone screams, the branches moisten with gray lips and veils. Words fly up from the beams of shoulders and bellies like startled gulls, bellies of prisoner thunder, slave salt. It's Friday, Kentino. Your 18 years beat in the cell like little boy fists. Here too there is an iron tuberculosis, the spider smile, daggers springing from the nipples of the administrator, secretaries, naked and a chain link shorthand. It's Friday. When the old men are rocking in big dark armchairs and now and then look at their trembling hands, the jaw bones groaning in the pasture, and then your eyebrows remembered 
and your guitar fist that used to play sun and moon when we ask only for earth. We're in November, somewhere between the first and the thirtieth, Cantino, an infinite pedal between two imaginary padlocks, Cantino, and the iodine flag in the soldier's barracks and the perfume in your hands and the assemblage of an M16 stuck in Samosa's face. 45 years of smoke and blood exploded in the street. What changes? <coughs> Yesterday your father died under the insecure hospital makeup. Today I walk the streets I look for eyes, I look for them. I look when it's lighter, but the people get used to the eternal bars <coughs> between their eyes and summer. Like now. 
everything stopped, if I could for one more time look into your eyes and see forever as the night approaches, vanishing, the watercolors running down. Ginseng and uh, a couple of other things. Now that I heard this music, <laughs> so I'm, uh, I, I was looking at the video too, and I noticed that there's also a, a chamulas, uh, a San Juan Chamula, a pueblo closer to San Cristóbal de las Casas. You saw some of that. You've seen some of that. And this is a pueblito called Joigelito. Uh, so it's still uh, indigenous from Chiapas. I don't know what to read now. Let's go with Clay Spider. Maga plays at the blue tarp. Under the tavern, spilling its melancholy letters, its workers' glove. So the little boy stops for a millisecond to whisper inside the flannel, his fawn, his new eye. Twenty years walking without a cane. Twenty carcass freight sold to the executive with a big hand. It is all in the books up there, see? The stairs, go. Mr. Emptiness is shredding lettuce. In a Portuguese accent, in the wee hours of the souls on the day of the dead, I sing of love. All of us, only. If only we have ifs and souls, that is all we need to kill the rock face. In the archipelago spinning a white brim hat, the circuit of factories, garment makers, necessary tortures. There is deepness in the piano at Bagas Bar. She says it comes from the strings that lead down in staccato. The little man weeps at the crazy still foot of his beloved architecture again. I want to smell the Mexican air. 
ribbons and petroleum afloat in fancy orphan scrawl. This is how I survive. Carrying these cinemas and the tilted ghosts after earthquake light. Twenty years! Each woman pays at the mount, each man lifts at the banquet. Twenty prayers and a thimble razor. The cargo for the hangman is rage, simply. Olives and salt in a briefcase, a half flask of seawater at the desk. His glove is about to peel, his sacred embroidery given by the foreman to last. You must go up someday and start your work there. Imprint all that has been promised in gold leaf. So the little girl stops for a moment and naturally at the bus stop, she notices a sky knife. She notices so deeply, perhaps in an a cappella stance, with the placid hands at her sides. It is all in the books. In King Lear's nevers, in Hamlet's tiny hands, in Medusa's sweet stone. The cannery by the steeple shimmers as it drops a diamond into the line and shivers. Who will find it? It is a Mexican mystery. Black shawl locomotive leads there, the hair glows. La Llorona carries an anvil in her womb. She has polished its phosphor point with red fingers. Today is the day of the dead. I say it again in a wavy, accordion like voice. I want to run in to the ochre colored train wheels, burrow into the rails, into the silvery ashes. Go ahead, Mr. Emptiness. Drink a cup of reddish, a sprig of ancient rhyme, and put on your best tie. This is what I say. This is my incantation, my silly pants of Irish power leaping over a bridge. The deluge seeks me in the timber, in timid presidential mask. American, you might say, global, candy wrapper skulls, sugary, Dali-like crutches at the US train Saudi barracks. How they swing to the beat of a Miles Davis Requiem. A trumpet slashes over the missile pumps, the ready blood. If my mother was here, if only she could rip out the nails, and Gala descend for once and explode, and the drowsy rascals that snapped my uncle Heno's back, I would line them up, the green vest gendarmes with beige noses, and shoot them again bluish seat for my chest. The grave gives back the worthy, my grandmother said. A healer, a blind man dressed as a baker, with Nadi in a newspaper cap, a viper's shadow in a vine, or falling from a chamula cross at the hill of the saved. My sister Andrea, the innocent, crushed at birth. Her forehead's tender maps I followed. This, engraved on the ferns, Bitten deep in a heart-shaped dish rag. A clay spider after the grinning drills, the milling stones after the gasp and the sign. Maga will dance a tango with her favorite Buenos Aires rose. Her hips swaying and her eyes burning through the veil and the men, enormous and hunched on a round table, poker and chips cut, dying. Yes, the dance will continue and its fragrant pomegranate string bass beat and all the hired hands, especially the hands, will rise. all of his life put into that. 
And this is my process of writing, but I call it the process of tango. I can't begin to know how to write poems. I only know about dreams and brujas and what their eyes see in the movement of a sultry tango. The accordion breathes. The hips and the belly can't escape the sway. Macho, mujer, mad dog looks, naked shoulders. Your arm around my waist, kissing the sigh, escaping my mouth. There are no words, only swelling in the breast. Bodies gracefully bowed and arched like one, aching for a mere stroke of a fingertip. The legs and feet move in the chase and run of love. Now in the true tradition of the tango, you would pull my hair and I would slap your face to create the tension, the passion in the dance. You would pull me close and I would push you away as if I didn't want you. All this to crescendo with the longing in the music and in the wettest kiss ever on the dance floor. And the poem? The poem remains inside the dream in you. Now let's join hands once again and let's help our spirits exit. I want to thank all of you for coming out tonight, and I really want to thank you for bringing your spirits, and I want to thank all the spirits that came, and I knew that uh, some things that were kind of strange would happen, and uh, that's okay. It was wonderful. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Gracias.